Hello everybody, hope you're doing good. Today in this video we'll talk about the new Brunswick PNP program. Getting the PNP nomination is like getting a golden ticket to your permanent residency of Canada. So in this video we'll talk about the overview, we'll talk about the details of this PNP program, which all different streams are there, what is the eligibility criteria, we'll discuss all about that, we'll discuss the process and we'll also discuss the fee as well. As you might know, from July onwards, Canada would be starting the all program express entry draws, but the cutoff scores are expected to be pretty high. So if you get any PNP nomination, you'll get additional 600 points and your current cutoff score won't actually matter much. So that's why I say that getting a PNP nomination is like a golden ticket to Canada. So in this video, we'll discuss all about the New Brunswick PNP program. If you're interested, stay tuned. Okay, so let me start with the overview. So New Brunswick is a small province and it is situated towards the eastern side of Canada. So that red province, that is New Brunswick. The most famous cities in New Brunswick are Moncton, St. John and Fredericton. The population mostly speaks English. So that's why if you know French, you have edge over others who don't. And of course, it is a part of the Atlantic Canada, which means the four Atlantic provinces. Population of New Brunswick is around 2% of the total population of Canada and its size is almost around 2% as well. Okay, so now let's talk about the New Brunswick Provincial Nominee Program or which is also referred as NBPNP. So there are five different streams. The first stream is the Express Entry stream. The second one is the Skilled Worker stream. The third one is the Business Immigration stream. The fourth one is strategic initiative stream and the last one is Atlantic immigration program. Now you might have heard about this Atlantic immigration program. Earlier it was a pilot program but last year it was made permanent and it is for the four Atlantic provinces, New Brunswick being one of them. So you can actually get your nomination through the Atlantic immigration program as well. I made a separate detailed video on it. I can provide the link in the description box below if you're interested you can check that out. Now the strategic initiative stream is specifically for the French speaking people. I think that most of my viewers are English speaking so I won't concentrate more on this. Then the business immigration stream is for those people who plan to own and actively manage a business in New Brunswick. And a very crucial eligibility criteria for it is that you should have a minimum personal net worth of at least 600,000 Canadian dollars which is equivalent to around 3.6 crore rupees such a big amount that being a reason not many people might be interested to know about this so in this video we'll talk in detail about the express entry stream and the skilled workers stream as well okay so let's discuss about the new Brunswick express entry stream first this is their official web page so uh, here they have mentioned about the Okay, so let's start with the New Brunswick Express Entry Stream first. So this is their official web page and here they have mentioned the eligibility criteria as well. The applicant must have a federal express entry profile, a valid express entry profile number and job seeker validation code. So of course, as the name suggests, you should have an express entry profile in order to get selected for that is the primary criteria, which means that to be eligible for this stream, you need to be first eligible for the express entry program. So all the eligibility criteria of express entry would actually be applicable over here as well. Now the second criteria is that you must be currently living in New Brunswick and when you're living there maybe you're working or you're studying so if you're working over there then you should have all these different uh, documents like you should have a letter of employment from the employer you should have a valid work permit and of course then the eligibility criteria for the express entry would be valid for this as well now if you're studying over there then you must be enrolled in a PGWP eligible program at a federally designated post secondary institution now this means that you can actually apply for your PR while you're studying. You need not complete your studies. So that's something great about this particular stream which is quite unique. You don't have to worry about a lot of things after you complete your studies. But this particular eligibility criteria is wrongly advertised at times as well because because it's not like you just complete your high school, come to New Brunswick, study there and apply for the PR. You should be eligible for the express entry stream as well, which means that you should have one year of work experience, 
course you should have completed your diploma or degree before so please be very careful when we talk about this particular eligibility criteria only after you're eligible for the express entry profile once you have your profile a valid profile which means all the eligibility criteria have been cleared then only this next eligibility criteria would come into action so i hope this point is pretty clear now you can be eligible for this particular stream while you're studying but all these conditions are also necessary as well okay now the next stream which is the new burnswick skilled workers stream so for this particular stream the eligibility criteria is that you should have a genuine offer of employment from a new burnswick employer and of course you should intend to live and work in the province on a permanent basis now this particular stream is not related with the express entry program so various eligibility criteria that we discussed for the express entry program might not be valid for this particular stream but of course you should have an offer of employment from a new burnswick employer in order to be eligible for this particular stream i'll provide the link to both of these web pages in the description box below if you're interested you can check that out next i want to discuss the process for applying if you're eligible okay talking about the process of course we'll talk about the two different streams express entry stream and skilled worker stream they have very similar process but uh, they're slightly different so we'll discuss both of them so for the express entry stream there are two different uh, processes in the first one you need to go to the inb portal and create your eoi profile so this would basically mean that uh, you would need to go to their portal which is a simple website where you need to create your profile provide the information that they've asked for and if you're eligible create your eoi profile showing your interest that you want to settle in new burnswick there's a second way as well where new burnswick can invite candidates directly from the express entry pool depending on their labor market needs and in such cases of course they would invite candidates that might not have created the eois so all those people would need to register in inb and create an eoi after getting the ita from them once the eoi is successfully submitted you can contact the new burnswick province uh, there's a specific email which has been mentioned and the format which has been mentioned on their website talking about the skilled worker stream so for that you need to do the registration in inb submit an expression of interest and then receive an ita as in when they do the draw as per their labor market needs and those three steps that i told you about have been explained in detail in this guide you can go on to this website uh, welcome nb.ca and you would find this guide over there okay talking about the fee of uh, both of these different streams so the fee is actually 250 dollars but you need not pay the fee when you're creating your eoi profile you would actually need to pay the fee once you've received the ita and you're submitting your application all right guys so thank you for watching this video i really hope that the information was helpful if you have any comments any feedback please put it down in the comment section below and if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet please click the subscribe button thanks again